Shall we lift up our two hands to heaven, everyone, and give God thanks for his manifest presence in our midst, as revealed by diverse testimonies from time to time of God's direct intervention? We do also thank him for answered prayers this morning. We serve a prayer answering God, not a prayer stunning God. Would you give him thanks? We serve a covenant keeping God when we do whatever he commands. We have committed this integrity to perform. Would you lift up your two hands and give him thanks? We are not serving a double standard God, a straightforward God. There's no respect of persons. What he does for one, he will do for another. He has never changed, he will never change. Lift up your two hands, everybody, and give this your God thanks. You are my covenant keeping God. You are my prayer answering God. I thank you for answering my prayers this morning. And I thank you for watching over your word in my life to perform. Now ask him to speak to you this morning. Jesus, I want to hear from you. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. Just a word from the Lord can steer a 360 degree turnaround experience in any man's life. Somebody will catch something this morning that will keep you going for life. There are things you hear and uh, they serve you for a moment. There are other things you receive that they live with you for life. Amen. And that's what the word of God is intended to do. It lives and abides forever. May you receive the kind of word that lives and abides forever this morning. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. It's my year of breaking limits. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and please, you may be seated. We have been uh, looking at this subject engaging biblical mentality in stewardship. Remember, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Destiny answers largely to mentality. No one ever arrives at a future that he cannot see. Faith will only deliver on what is expected. Now faith is the substance of things expected. The evidence of things not same. Faith is the substance of things hoped for or things expected. So we have to think it before we can have it. Until we think it, we cannot have it. Engaging biblical mentality in stewardship. We must possess a partnership mentality that will go a long way to making our stewardship exciting, fulfilling, and profitable. For instance, everyone on the go for Jesus is in partnership with him. Matthew chapter 28 and verse 18 to 20. 
when Jesus gave the great commission, he said, All power in heaven and on earth is been given unto me. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. So everyone on the go for Jesus secures his partnership, his companionship. And that means a lot. It means, among other things, that no door can be shut against you. Lift up your hands, ye gates, and be lifted up your everlasting doors, that the King of Glory may come in. You can't be in partnership with Jesus and be resisted by any devil. You can't. When God's people came out of Egypt, God was their sanctuary. The sea saw them, it fled. Psalm 114 and verse 1 to 9. Jordan was driven back. The mountains keep like rams, and the hills like young lambs. Now, what led thee, O sea that thou fledest? I know Jordan that thou was driven back. And the word came, ye mountains that ye skip like rams, and ye little hills like lambs. Tremble thou earth at the presence of God. Everything trembles at his presence. Oppositions trembles at his presence. Enemies trembles at his presence. So that's why the word says, if God be for us, who can be against us? So when we are on the go for Jesus, going after souls, we secure his partnership that causes everything that makes others fear to tremble at our instance. They tremble at our instance because they see God with us. They see God with us. Jesus appointed 70 others also and sent them two by two into every city and village where he himself will come. So every time he sent and we are on the go, he said, I'm coming with you. You just go as my advance party. I'm coming down in person. Luke chapter 10 verse 1. I'm coming down in person. So everyone on the go for Jesus secures his partnership with him that makes it impossible for the enemy to molest him, to withstand him, and to stop his way forward. We need this partnership mentality any day, any time, anywhere. It will fortify our confidence in doing what we are doing. I'm not alone here. Someone sent me and is right here with me. Somebody sent me and is right here with me. So it boosts our confidence in God. We need to possess a partnership mentality. These are all simple, simple things that carry unusual effect. We used to sing an old song. I'm not alone, I'm not alone, in all my journey, Jesus is with me, I'm not alone. We need that consciousness, I have Jesus right here with me. Praise God, praise God. Partnership with Christ makes us more than conquerors when challenged. If God be for us, who can be against us? Oh, we be heard Satan fall like lightning from heaven. He said, yes, I give to you power when you went out for me. 
to tread upon serpents and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hold you. And much more importantly, he went with them. He went with them. So Satan was falling like lightning from heaven. <laughs> crashing. His kingdom crashing. Because he went with them. Luke 10, 17 to 19. He went with them. He said, Evils, devils who are subject to your, us in your name. He said, I was there. He went with them. Well, the last assault anyone under the sound of my voice has suffered is the last we ever know. Amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Romans 8 31 If God be for us, who can be against us? If God be for us, who can be against us? If God be for us, who can be against us? Our partnership with Jesus is an asset of inestimable value. You can't begin to fathom what happens by that simple partnership. By that simple partnership. May each one succeed to retain his partnership and our partnership with Christ till the end of time. Till the end of time. Thank you, Jesus. Also, we discover that partnership enhances and empowers the boldness of believers and our confidence. And what that does is to put us in command of signs and wonders. They are both there two years more, speaking boldly in the Lord. As chapter 14 and verse 3, which give witness to the word of his grace and granted signs and wonders to be done by their hands. You saw Peter and John, when they beheld the boldness of Peter and John, knowing that they were ignorant and unlearned men, they took knowledge of them that they had been with Christ. They took knowledge of them that they had been with Christ. They took knowledge of them that they had been with Christ. And with great power, maybe, the conscience was there. They gave witness of Jesus Christ and great grace was upon them all. All kinds of manifestations. They turned out to be bolder than the authority and power. Judge yourself whether we should happen unto you or unto God or to God. But as for us, you can't stop us from saying the things we have heard and said. And send the authority to, to, to silence. The consciousness of God with you will tear up the lion in you. It, it will tear up the lion in you any day, any time, anywhere. Please know that our commitment to kingdom advancement and divorce secures God's partnership with us. Secures our partnership with Christ. And that keeps us on the path of irresistible advancement, irresistible progress. That shall be your experience from now. Amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Well, the Bible says, be ye steadfast, always abandon the works of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Among the blessings that we are that accrue to us is this partnership. Money can buy, position can buy, keeps you at rest in the midst of the storm. God, the conscience of God's presence with you keeps you at rest in the midst of the storms. The good news today is that anybody can secure the partnership of Christ with them for life. Anybody by our commitment to the interest of his kingdom as a lifestyle. His presence just dominates your life and no devil can stop your way forward. Therefore, from now, I see all the barriers of the Red Sea, all the mountains and the hills, 
all the walls of Jericho standing between you and your promised land crashing at his presence. Amen. I saw everything troubling others in the world trembling at your presence Amen. because of your awesome partnership with Christ. Stand to your feet. Give the Lord the biggest clap offering. Amen. Over 1,000 people have arrived at their various locations for the takeoff of the first phase of the church planting mandate for the year. So we expect not less than 1,100 churches to take off on Sunday. Amen. Lift up your two hands and ask Jesus. to ensure his partnership with them. You send them to where you will come. Now they have gone. Go with them. Go with them. Nothing stops these churches from taking off on Sunday. Go with them. Go with them. Go with them. Let there be an unusual takeoff this Sunday. Let there be an explosive takeoff this Sunday. Establish your presence with your laborers. Establish your presence with your laborers. Establish your presence with your reapers. Grant us testimonies the kind we have never had in our church planting and divorce. Grant us testimonies the kind we have never had this coming Sunday. As they reach out to those cities and villages and towns, wherever they have been, in the name of Jesus, let there be awesome harvest that will reflect on Sunday morning. In the name of Jesus, let your presence go with them. Let your presence walk with them. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. There is no level of anointing that's a substitute for his partnership. How God anointed Jesus with Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good, healing all them that were oppressed of the devil because God was with him. Because God was with him. Lord, prove your presence with these laborers. And let this Sunday service be a service of wonders. Amen. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Lord, let your presence abide with these laborers, making this Sunday service a service of wonders. Wonders in every form. Wonders in the drafting of multitudes into the centers. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Well, let's make it personal now. Anyone I invite for this coming Sunday must respond. Everyone that turned his life over to you as I went out, and as I'm still going to go out tomorrow, all of them must appear. Go ahead and pray. That your tongue be anointed with fire. Everyone you invite will say yes and will appear and appear to abide. Everyone you let to Christ will come and they will come to abide. Lord, I pray that every single person I invite shall respond and be present and abide. Everyone I lead to the salvation of Christ will appear and appear to abide. Now, pray for all church members. Every invitee for this Sunday service must respond. Every new convert must appear and appear to abide. Thank you, Father. 
In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Now, go in peace. Experience is proven presence every step of your journey today. May this weekend be a turnaround weekend for everyone. I pray that your partnership with Christ will be sustained for life. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your two hands and give God thanks. As you speak to the day, the day must answer. As you speak to the day, the day must answer. As you speak to the day, the day must answer. As you speak to the day, the day must answer. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Make your decrees concerning the day. Make your decrees concerning the day. What you decree and declare will surely come to pass. Now lift your voice and begin to glorify God from the depth of your heart. Give him praise according to the declaration. So shall be the manifestation of the day. Father, thank you and blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Somebody believe, say loud, amen. amen. We have our flyers available. Take advantage of them. Take what you require in advertising Jesus. And it will honor you in return in the name of Jesus Christ.